So if you ask me what is the biggest mistake I made over last 10 years, so without second thought I would say not making notes and documenting projects properly. I worked on so many projects by this time but never documented anything properly because I always thought documenting project was always stop time and I was always terrified of missing deadlines. So welcome back to my video series Build Your Second Brain. This is the seventh episode of this series. So in this episode, I will tell you the five reasons why you should make notes. So watch at the end if you don't want to make mistake like me. Number one, space repetition. Space repetition gives your brain time to process concepts. Imagine brain as a muscle. So which one is good? 10 times a day or 10 times over a week? Of course the second one, right? Remember, sleep helps to make neural connection. So seeing the same notes multiple times over a long period of time helps you learn better. So whenever I'm solving a problem or attending any seminar, I go through the relevant notes in Obsidian. So that's how I learn a lot of things without putting real effort. If you watch how my second brain works, then you know I make all notes inside Obsidian. I can open any notes with a blink of an eye using keyboard shortcut Ctrl O. If you missed my previous video on getting started with Obsidian, you could check it from here or here. Number two, learn efficiently. Let's say you want to learn a programming language. In every programming language, you need to know a few fundamental blocks, how to define variables, how to write condition, how to write uh, loops, and how to write logs, etc, etc. So make atomic notes of this block. Obsidian is actually very good at making notes on code. Write back click three times and you will find the code block. When you're solving a problem or looking into other people's code, go through those code blocks. Gradually you will find that you could use those code blocks just like Lego to solve a bigger problem. Number three, learn more. So I'm an engineer, so let me put this as a from my perspective. I divide my studies into three main categories. So understanding, process and information. First, understanding is the inner mastery of something, why I am learning this, what is the physics behind this and how these things works. So the more you make connection, the more you understand a thing better. So Obsidian shines in this area, whenever I am making notes inside Obsidian, I just connect with my previous notes just using two third brackets, that's easy. Second processes, the whole engineering syllabus is full of processes and techniques. So let me put this example this way, I have to generate publication quality figures almost every day. So, I made a boilerplate code blocks, whenever I need to generate a figure, I open those code blocks in Obsidian and copy paste that into MATLAB, so that saves a lot of time. Third information, correct information is valuable, so whenever I find the information relevant to my research, I put that into a separate note. So part of my PhD research is on renewable energy, so when I find the information relevant to the recent progress in re re renewable energy, I put that into a, that note and I know I use that note from I, in my future paper. Number four, work smartly. When I say work smartly, I mean don't solve the same problem again and again. So before I struggle a lot writing my papers and I read the same paper again and again, but I still fail to come up with a good story because I didn't take note. Now I don't make that mistake. I annotate article in Zotero and finally Zotero makes a note for me and I put that note into Obsidian and I use that note directly to write my paper. So if you miss my previous video on how to get started with Zotero, you could check it from here or here. Number five, future asset. Let's say you are studying a subject right now and you understand everything, but that will decay over time. So five years later, how do you teach yourself that subject within short time? That's why you need to make notes. In the next video, I will discuss how to make notes without being exhausted. If you are new to my channel, I'm Shubham Kordash, PhD student, Clarkson University, New York. If you find this video useful, hit subscribe and bell icon and refer your friends who are also struggling. Finally, sign into my newsletter to get update of new video in your email. You will get link in the description below.